Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things, or Silence Did Good, however you may care to know me on whatever channel I'm posting. And I'm going to go through here in a little bit of an odd way um, how to use how to set smooth draw up like Khan Academy, Sal Khan does, particularly with the black backdrop and also use of some of the pens. So usually what I'll be doing is letting you know that you would like this area here to be 1280 by 720. Um, I just record that area if you're doing a screencast you can pull some things in but um, 720 all right I am using a Wacom tablet which I'm going to try to turn some things off touch off and smooth draw I don't know if this is the latest version but I'm going to show you how to go about setting this up correctly all right so the first thing is you're going to go ahead and you might want to change the back to be black to, and the white the front to be some other color so we'll go to pick a color there in the black close and you see nothing changes and that can be a bit confusing so now I set white over black I have all kinds of things set here what you would generally also do is change the resize on the canvas you turn that off and challenge that to 1280 by 720 or something I'm not going to do that this time because I want to keep grabbing all of the kind of tools up above so I'm going to hit cancel here once you've done that and now if you do file new you'll get the back black backdrop it's kind of you know the way it is all right so that's basically setting up a black background one of the great things about capturing or using smooth draw is the ability to make a bunch of layers so typically you don't want to be writing on the black background layer so you're going to add a layer here layer one and at this point in time you could you know go to a pen and say this is smooth draw this is smooth draw. Right now, what you later can do is you can turn that on and off. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. Over here, you have the ability to change pen colors. So you can actually have, I think, set some of these up. Um, but you can kind of go into here and change your foreground color. Typically, if you jump here, it'll dear it. Now, this is the new color. This is the new color. Um, lots of different tools that you might be used to. You can change the size. Again, you can, um, that's kind of a neat one. Uh, this idea of filtering in in different amounts, different colors. One thing I do want to point out, smudging, is the fact that the stamp tool, or basically this does not have a good straight line drawer, if you would, and not a good straight line drawer. Show you this one is an interesting one, how to pick up a color. I'm going to pick up hopefully that red, or that green, picking up a color, and then going to pen. All right, so this does not have a good way to draw a straight line, and it doesn't have a circle tool. However, there is a way in terms of grabbing the stamp tool, so stencil. You can basically do all kinds of settings, but there's a way to go ahead and change a stamp so make the stamp let's see if I can do that uh, layers tablet pressure to compress the layers tablet pressure on and off dab this could tell basically the dab image so you can tell what the image is cancel let's see how you do the dab this is how you would grab basically an image so we'll do Alex head now somehow that was the heading for Alex so you can grab a different image all right so I want to fin finish this in five minutes the point of this was learning how to set up uh, the colors so um, oop, that doesn't work I'm going to turn that off that's some sort of mass so if you want to change the color here right this is how you do it again now you're black on black you generally don't want that I'm going to hit red you got a double hit and hit close that's red now when you do file new right it's going to bring a new file again what you want to do generally is change the canvas so you're just capturing on there since really people are not interested on the left and the right definitely a great program it is effectively what Sal Khan uses and if Sal uses it um, it's trying to stay relatively lean uh, in the nonprofit arena Ooh, that's kind of neat uh, why not we as well 
Uh, it will allow you to do, amongst other things, bring in things like capturing of other things on top of it. So you could probably go all of a sudden, I'll bring up, uh, let's see. Um, Trying to bring up something that's not so crazy to bring up. Right in the middle of this session, you could bring up SketchUp. Another great program. So it's a screen capture, and that's why it's perhaps a little bit better than um, some of the other things that maybe post you out to their software. Close that. Indigo is here. So now, Okay, I cannot do this. So now all of a sudden, remind me later, now it's capturing SketchUp and I can kind of go in here uh, and draw a box and push up and potentially then look at the box from right here, talking about perspective around it so I'm going a little quickly there but that's the idea that it's continuing to capture the whole screen that's not very often you're not going to do something like that but very often what you might want to do is bring in a window like a Wolfram Alpha window or a calculator window or something else even perhaps a little window that in fact uh, you might maybe could draw some straight lines but I'm going kind of slow here um, but there are ways to trick it out to bring in straight lines. I'm just not going to cover that here. All right, so that's how you set the background to black. Thanks for listening.